What's going on everybody, Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more casual battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're continuing our tear on that casual ladder, using some more regulation D teams, but this time, using a Galarian Zapdos team that also features Rillaboom. You guys are in no deal, if you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Considering ranked battles for regulation D, go live in about five days five days i believe so you guys want to stay tuned for all that because we're going to be bringing back some pokemon that we already used on the casual ladder with better teams for rank so we're going to be bringing you guys all the content and all the best teams for regulation d but like i said we got galarian zapdos for today's team before rank even comes out i want to showcase all the glaring birds so we're getting started here with that guy right here really fast pokemon hits like a truck and it has an amazing ability defiant First Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be that Tornadus. Tornadus, you're going to be seeing it all over Regulation D. Once ranked battles go live, all the best teams are going to have it. It has Prankster, it has a Covert Cloak as item, Rockin' Bleak Windstorm, Tailwind, Taunt, and Rain Dance. Second Pokemon is the Pokemon that pairs up with that Rain Dance. It is going to be Bashkill Legion with Swift Swim, the Double with Speed in the Rain, and the Life Orb to make it do as much damage as it possibly can. It's got Aqua Jet for first time priority, Wave Crash for big time damage, Last Respects, and Protect. In our third slot, it's going to be one of the fastest Pokemon in the game. It is going to be Regilecki, Transistor, and the Focus Sash, E-Web, Thunderbolt, Terror Blast, and Protect. Probably my favorite moveset for Regilecki and favorite item because Focus Sash, top tier for Regilecki. It's very much like a glass cannon. It can hit hard, it can outspeed, but it can't really take a hit. So the Focus Sash is the perfect item for that Pokemon. Galarian Zapdos is in our fourth slot. Galarian Zapdos has that Defiant ability, alongside with the Grassy Seeds to pair up with Rillaboom's Grassy Surge. It has Acrobatics, Thunderous Kick, Stomping Cantrum, and Detect. Fifth Pokemon is that Rillaboom. Like I said, pairs up perfectly with the Zapdos, triggering its Grassy Seeds and allowing it to get a stat boost. It has Grassy Surge and the Soul Fest as the item. Fake Out, Wood Hammer, Knock Off, and U-Turn. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Golden Go. And just like Series 1, Golden Go is very, very strong with the Choice Specs. It has good as gold, Choice Specs like we already mentioned, and then Shadow Ball, Make It Rain, Trick, and Thunderbolt. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder. Let's grab some wins with Scalarian Zapdos team. We're loading into our first match, and if you guys want to support me a little bit extra while everything is loaded, make sure you guys go hit that join button down below, become a member to the Genius channel. If there is no join button, there is a link down in the description below to become a member. Huge shout out to all my members, hopefully you guys are enjoying all the channel perks. But first match here, and we're going up against, is that Calyrex or Glacier? I kind of see like Calyrex's head behind it, that might be Calyrex, that might be a banned Pokemon in ranked battles, but in casual and ranked, you can actually use Glacier, which Glacier is actually really, really good, especially in Trick Room, it is top tier. But we're going up against that with a Bomb of Snow alongside Indeedee, Gallade, Gyarados, and Tinkaton. So Tinkaton might come in here for the fake out. I kind of want to lead Rillaboom and on top of that, my boy Zapdos, Ashru Zapdos. Look at these stats, 194 attack. God dang, this thing can hit like a truck. We're going in with both of them, popping the grassy seeds, and we'll get after it that way. In the back end, we're going to go in with Regilecki. And last but not least, I'm kind of leaning towards just this Choice Specs uh, Golden Go, right? Especially paired up with Regilecki, you can E-Web and get off some big-time damage with Make It Rain. So, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one and showcase Galarian Zapdos. But, originally, I wanted to showcase a Rillaboom team today, and... I seen this team, I was like, this team can actually showcase both, but we're definitely going to have a video with just Rillaboom, well, main focus of Rillaboom, so this video is more as more as a uh, main focus to Glaring Zapdos, that Pokemon is so good, so good, but we're going to go Rillaboom, he's going to go in DD, and you're going to take away my Surge, can I still pop Seeds before the Surge ends, does that, does that happen, it does, okay, cool, because in DD's just going to take away the Surge, so we get that lovely little defense boost, from the grassy seeds and they're just gonna take over train which no big deal i'm not it's it's not crazy but i might have to terrestrialize the bird because psychic really really gets me ripping right but now acrobatics is going to do some crazy damage we could pretty much just one tap you and i could u-turn out i might just u-turn out just save the terrain for later and get fake out back i'm all about it i was gonna go for a knockoff but i like the u-turn pivot better so they might try to pop a trick room it's definitely an option I mean, I don't really mind too much. I can get rid of this terrain next turn, though. We'll see what they want to do. So I'm going to Terrasilize just in case the second move's coming into my bird. He doesn't fare too well to special attack in second moves. 
So, I'm gonna Thrastalize him into straight fire. Straight fire ostrich. I love I love the Glading Birds. I think they did a I think they did a phenomenal job with their design. I really do. The Glade's gonna end up protecting, so smart little protect. This has gotta be a trick room, right? This has got to be a trick room. Great protect coming out from him. U turn's gonna allow us to pivot, and from here, who should I go into? Who shall jeans go into? Because it is gonna be a little annoying. What item do you have? Red card. Okay, your red card in my roll room. I was switching anyway, <laughs> but it's fine. And now, oh wow, now I can't pick. And that's fine, I guess. Is Trick Room coming out here? Might be a little bit of an issue. Now you're gonna charm me. That's fine, we're special attacking. I'm cool with that. You can drop my attack. I'm special attacking. So that works out fine. I'm still gonna throw an Acrobatics in that slot. And then here, I'm just gonna rip into a Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt should be able to get rid of Indeedy. Regilecki hits hard. Transistor gives it a 30% increase in electric damage. Regilecki's the real deal. I thought a Trick Room was gonna come out here. That would've been a good play. That would've been a really good play. But follow me ends up coming out here. I think we should be fine considering, like I said, Thunderbolt should be able to kill Indeedy. And then Acrobatics should be able to just take out the Glade. So Thunderbolt does pick up the KO, no problem. Acrobats is wiping the floor with this Glade. Unless it's Sash. Unless it's Sash. And you actually outspeed me and almost KO me. That is scary. You might have to E-Web next turn. But he was orbed. Acrobatics can come out here. Get on out of here, Glade. I'm not dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you. That's a big part of uh, Glaring Zapdos' uh, moveset. It's acrobatics. It's stab and it gets double damage when you're not holding an item. So giving it a seed such as the Psychic Seed or the Grassy Seed like we have and then getting a Terrain Setter is perfect. Makes it do ridiculous damage. Out is going to come Calyrex and Gyarados. So this is a little scary. This is definitely a little scary because Calyrex is insanely strong. And they're going to end up intimidating me. And that defiance me gives me a plus one attack. So that's huge. That's big time. That's big time. So defiant helping us out a little bit there. And then from here, what should I go into? Acrobatics is the most damage for me. But Thunder's kick is awesome. <laughs> it just looks so cool. But yeah, we're just going to go into an acrobatics here. And I think we go after Calyrex. And on top of that, we E-Web across the board. If Gyarados doesn't Terrasalize, it pretty much dies out to this. And it's just going to protect. I mean, that's totally fine. I should be able to chunk up some damage here with E-Web onto Calyrex, and then on top of that, I should just be able to rip into this Calyrex, right, with Acrobatics. Right, Stab. Actually, it's really bulky, though. This is a problem. It's super bulky, so I don't think we're going to KO it, but still, how much damage are we doing? See how bulky that thing is? And now it's using this signature move, Glacial Lands. Get on out of here. I'm dead. Actually, I survived. Wow. I did indeed survive. You know, we're going to do the same thing. E-Web, Acrobatics, trying to just finish up this match. I'm surprised he didn't Thrasalize yet. And there it is. Here comes the Thrasalization. So I'm not too worried about the characters. My back-end Pokemon can clean up this match, no problem. It's just this Calyrex, right? I'm looking to get rid of Calyrex, and all it has is Water Terror. So that's still a decent Terror, considering now the Electric Move will only be two times super effective instead of four, but it still should be able to chunk up some damage. Calyrex does not protect. That's all I care about, but it does dodge the attack, which kind of sucks because I don't think Acrobatics is KOing. I do not believe Acrobatics is KOing. It does, though. My bird said, let's get it. I'm definitely KOing, and we take him out. So that's pretty much wraps up the match. Garrett's going to drop an EQ, which will pick up a double kill. But again, I still have two Pokemon in the back end. Got my Rillaboom who can hop out here, change the terrain, pop an easy fake out. And then who else did I pick? Oh, Gold Go. Golden Go's coming out here. Loving this little booger. Loving little Golden Go. Like I said, since Series 1, this Pokemon has been a menace. He's still here. Give him that choice specs. He can take out anybody. So we bring out the Rillaboom. We're bringing out the Golden Go. And I love how Rillaboom just like <laughs> grabs his drum from its back. He's like, yeah, let me pull this bad boy out. He gets after it. This is Cake. We're going to choice into a nice lovely Thunderbolt. And I can just fake out on top of that. But I'd rather just drop a Wood Hammer because Wood Hammer looks a lot cooler. Our opponent cancels the battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1-0 to get this video started. Let's keep the win streak going. We're 1-0. Let's go back to back here. Going up against... What are we going up against? There it is. A really powerful team. All right. I'm a, I'm a little scared. Shaking in my boots a little bit, but we got this. We're going up against Landorus alongside Urshifu, Shenpao, Regilecki, Tornadus, and Cresselia. And Cresselia. Cresselia. Uh, do I go Rillaboom and... I could go Rillaboom and Zapdos right off the rip here. I think that could be pretty good, right? I feel as we can get after it. And then in the back end, we could take some speed. Um, 
I like the Rillabooms after this, but the only problem is speed is a little bit of an issue, right? I mean, we do have Fake Out, which is awesome. We love, love me some Fake Out, right? Love me some Fake Out, but from here, it's like, eh. It's like, what do we do? We get the Grassy, we get the Defensive Boost. Um, hmm. So I want Regilecki, but I also want, like, Tornadus. But I think we just go here, and then we go Basket Legion, because first turn priority could be awesome. It definitely could be really, really good for us. So I'm going to go in with that. Our only way of speed control is going to be our Regilecki. So we're kind of hoping he's not leading Tornadus, because chances are... Tornadus is covert cloaked, right? Just like ours, it will not flinch to the fake out. So you might just want to attack his Pokemon at that point. We'll see. It really depends who they go into. But again, this team is stacked, and I wouldn't be surprised if we get absolutely pumped here. <laughs> like, dude, like, there's top tier Pokemon we're going up against. Like, a team like this is going to be, like, the meta when Regulation D comes out here. He's going to end up leading these two. Um, huh. I really want to fake out, but I'm terrified of the Ghost Terror type. I'm really scared of the Ghost Terror type. I'm definitely gonna fire Terrestrialize here. Definitely fire Terrestrialize him. But Zapdos, um... I'm gonna double down into that. Or I can... Yeah, I'm gonna double down into you. I don't think he... I'm definitely Terrestrialize, but I don't think he's gonna protect here. He might Terrasalize into Ghost. That's why I'm not going for the uh, fighting move. That is why I'm not going for the fighting move. I don't go for the fake out into that. But just in case it goes Ghost, it doesn't just take up both my turns, you know? So I'm going to Terrasalize straight fire. And I believe it's not Terrasalize. Hopefully, it's not protected. I'm not trying to deal with a protector. Hopefully, it's just staying it's staying its beautiful self and it's trying to get after me. Cool. So we get off a nice lovely fake out. Chipping up damage. Yeah, one's gonna come out here, and then this acrobatic should still KO. I believe it should. I believe it should, right? Get rid of it, please. Really? The freest of focus ashes? The free focus ash? That's real ugly. That is real ugly. That's that, that, that's doing me dirty. I'm gonna go for a U-turn here, and I'm just gonna protect you. I mean, Aqua Jet's gonna come in clutch. That's why I said first turn priority is gonna be your best friend. Uh, Thunder's Kick, we could throw an Acrobatics on this left side. If I want to. Do I want to, though? A little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I think we're fine here. If he does go for an Ice Spinner, probably dead to that, right? Boom, boom. Yeah, we don't get the free Focus Ashes. Not. No way we get the free Sashes. If he takes out my Grass Turning, that's fine. I mean, we don't really need any more. And Bleak Windstorm can fly here, which we soak pretty well. Give me a Speed Drop. I want the speed drops on my Defiant would pop, but Acrobatics just ripping. Just teeing off. Big time damage. Big time damage. So from here, we're going to go into my boy, Basque Legion, just for first turn priority so we can get rid of Shenpowski, right? Actually, ooh. Ooh. He's going to be faster than me. He can sucker punch me, right? No, he goes land though. We're going to Defiant boost here. We are going to get a Defiant boost, which is pretty nice. But this is tough, like, speed control's a problem. Speed control is a problem. How many turns are left in Tailwind? Two. I mean, we can double protect here. Just feel out what he wants to do. I'm gonna feel out what he's gonna do, because there's no way he's, like, sword dancing or anything out here. So I'm gonna double protect. Let's see what they want to cook up here. Um, hmm. Sucker Punch, yeah, ooh. Mm. Mm -mm. And a rock slide, yeah, we, we, we don't we don't do too well up against that. We don't we don't do so hot up against that. We don't do so hot up against that. Um We died of that sucker punch. I'm gonna go for double protect. Double detect and a swap so Sucker Punch doesn't KO me. Waste out this Tailwind turn. Come on, land this detect, bird. Come on, birdie bird. If birdie bird lands this protect, that is big time. That is big time for birdie bird. Go ahead, birdie bird. I need you, birdie bird. I need you to land this extra detect. This could be a good play from us. But again, we're, we're relying on RNG a little bit. So we'll see what our opponent wants to do. I believe they're going to go for the Sucker Punch again, right? I mean, I would. I definitely would. But I knew this one was going to be a tough match for us. 
And we go on the Reggie here. The tech does work, so we get the double detect, which is gorgeous. Go for Sucker Punch, please. Cool. And then Rock Slide, we can block. Regilecki can soak that up. And we can go from there. We can indeed go from there. Okay. The Tailwind is finally gone. Um, we go for E-Web. I think you might be able to outspeed here. I'm going to go for Acrobatics in the slot. Now we can start attacking. I mean, he's still going to Sucker Punch and take out one of my Pokemon. But I'm hoping we can get off one turn from that, which could be big time. Could definitely be big time. We'll see. We'll see what he wants to do. So I could I could have just protected Regilecki and then went after Shen Pao. Which maybe I should have, right? Maybe I should have. We'll see. Sucker Punch does come out here, and it is going to go into him. We eat that. We eat that. E-Web's going to take out the Shen Pao. We're hoping my bird can outspeed, because at that point, we can do some big-time damage to Lando. Come on, bird. Outspeed. Birdie bird! Birdie bird! Good play, birdie bird. All right. So now, it's down to this. That was like... Oh, that was the best we could do so far. It's down to Bastion Legion. So Bastion Legion can Aqua Jet get rid of Lando, no problem. But the problem is going to be the back end Pokemon, which is probably something to just rip into me, right? We're going to hope. We have last respects on this, which is boosted to like 150. It does some crazy damage right now. So we go in with Bash Legion. They're going to throw out their final Pokemon, which is... Come on, man. Come on, man. The last Pokemon I wanted it to be. The last Pokemon I wanted it to be. Maybe he missed an attack. We got to go after him. We got to go after him. Come on, man. Regilecki. <laughs> I knew it was going to be something that I could just rip into me. Made some good plays. Brought us back into the match. But them having Regilecki in the back end hurts the soul. My soul hurting. So maybe he miss, Maybe he protects Lando and misses an attack. You never know. He's going to Terrasalize Lando? Who are you Terrasalizing? That's the real question. We're going to Terrasalize Lando into straight Ice Titan. I think that was just for like the heck of it. They knew they had this match in the bag. Straight ice tight. Thunderbolt comes in here. That's KO me all day long. Yep. I'm a goner. Hurts the soul. Rest easy, Basket Legion. Well, we tried our best here in match number two. I knew it was going to be a tough one. We ended up losing one and one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in match number three. Final match coming at you guys. Going up against another Shen Pao team. But this team is definitely doable for us. We're going up against... Ooh, actually, I don't know. Shen Pao Urshifu and Shen Pao Dragonite is just phenomenal. Alongside the Tornadas, Rillaboom, and Flutter Fluttermane. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? I'm thinking of just straight up leading this guy. Get some uh, speed going for us. But a problem would be the first turn priority, guys. I really don't want to set the rain considering that just boosts his Urshifu. But from here... We could just go in with, like, Rillaboom to fake out. Actually, I could just do this. I kind of I kind of can get down with that. I'm not even going to lie. I kind of like that. Because so I get a nice, beautiful defense boost I can fake out, and then I can have Tornadus as back end support. So I'm going to do that and then have Focus Ash in the back end with my Regilecki. So, yeah, we're going to we're gonna keep that lead going. I really do like the lead. And it's just going to be tough with first-turn priority Pokemon. It's, it's just a problem. They're just really, really strong. Really, really strong. So, like, in DD, you're probably going to be seeing a good bit of in DD in regulation detail. It's just one of the only Pokemon that can uh, pop a Surge. But, yeah, I'll come see so, uh... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? So I couldn't... I can't just swap Robin if I want to. I could. I could. I could. I could take off multi skill here too. I could take off Focus Ash here as well. Um, who do we think he Ice Spinners though? So I'm terrestrializing in the fire. This thing's gonna be Sash, but the problem is it can terrestrialize in the Ghost. Which I'm kind of scared of. I'm gonna fake out Dragonite. Shenpao might just even protect. So I'm going to Terrasalize in the fire again. We're hoping Shenpao is just protecting because that could be big, big for us. Because I can get off multi-scale, I can make it flinch. On top of that, I can get off some big time damage. So Shenpao is not Terrasalizing, which makes me think it might just be protecting. We'll see. Someone is. Oh, that must be the Dragonite. 
Must be the Dragon of the Knights. Unless I'm just fashion Shin Pao. It is Dragon Knight. Into normal? Into straight to normal. So good thing we're going after that thing. I'm not trying to deal with E-Speed. It's a problem. So hopefully they'll ice spinnering down my, uh, my, what's it called? My bird. That'd be good. The Dragon Knight gets a flinch. He's going to go for ice spinner. Go after my bird, please. Thank you. It's a good terror type for us. And he's going to take away my grassy train. It's all good. Chilling. Acrobat's coming in hot here. Almost picking up the KO. Almost. Not quite, though. Um, so he's definitely ice spinnering down Rillaboom. We might just have to let Rillaboom die out here, right? We might just have to let him die out here. I could hard swap him into, like, say, Regilecki, but we're not sitting in a good spot. I think I just had to let him die out here. If I hard swap in the red like we're losing a big piece. We're bringing it down to focus ash at least. And if we swap into Tornadus, we're just dead. So e speed's gonna come out here. Can we soak this up? My oh, man. My oh, man, that defensive boost really helped us out there. So Ice Spinner comes out here. That's gonna KO. Oh, really surviving. Really surviving. That's big time. We get a free sash. We love it. So we get rid of you. And now we can U-turn pivot. We can U-turn pivot, which is big. Now I think an E-speed might be able to KO. I kind of want to go into it. I mean, hmm, Urshifu can come out here, which is a big time problem. But you know what? I'm going to go into Regilecki here. Going into Reggie. And I might protect an e and, uh, E-web. That could be big because someone has to go after my bird, right? Who not as excited? This I I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I do not mind that. So someone has to go after my bird. So from here, I'm just gonna detect and slow down everybody. And on top of that, this might KO the Shin Pao. I would love to KO the Shin Pao. That real boom eating up that shot. That was big. That was big. That was big, because if just Rill if Rillaboom would have went down there, we would have been sitting in a tough position, but now I know I have it in the back end for another fake out later in the match. That's actually really, really good for us. So he ends up detecting. There's that sucker punch. Knew he's going into it. And now we can straight up just E-Web him down, but they're going to tail him out. I was going to Thunderbolt the Tornados, but I really want to try to KO the Shen Pao with this E-Web. Which I think maybe we can. Can we? That is big. That is big. So we get rid of the Shen Pao, we get rid of the Dragonite. It's big, big for us. But they have Tailwind up. I still have Focus Ash, though, which is monstrous. Urshifu comes out here now. So Urshi Ursh comes out. Um, hmm. I have Focus Ash. I think I'm just going to protect you and save it. Save the Fake Out. Fake Out's huge. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to protect this thing. Try to get some speed from him. I don't mind if I don't mind if my bird goes out. I'm gonna get Tornadus out there. Take some speed back. Oh my god, it hits through protects. This thing's broken, man. <laughs> it just knocked me. <laughs> Ruined my whole plan. I totally forgot. I always forget that that thing like hits through protects. Can you miss your little your little move? Of course they don't. Alright. Mm. That sucks, man. I mean, we were dying anyway. Even if we didn't protect, that thing takes me out. Tough. So I get these two out here. I have another fake out chance. Um, definitely he's covert cloak on the. Uh, he's definitely covert cloak on the what's it called on the tornadus. First, we might just protect here. Good smart play. I mean, our best chance here is just going into a straight bleak windstorm into a fake out. I mean, I could just go for like a wood hammer or something in that. But we got we, Like, he's going to protect, but that, that Earth should really just did me dirty there. Hmm. Once it hit the draw, I was like, oh, no, that kind of that guy kind of screwed me over. I mean, even if I did know he was going to hit through protects, I think he still would have won. It's just, just a big advantage. And there's a big time protect.
I mean, it's an obvious protect, though. It was just like our last stitch effort was hopefully he's not protecting. We can get off this fake out and get off some big time damage. Maybe he misses the storm. Of course not. He's landing them all day. Those are big time damage to us, and that's going to be game set match. That is going to be game set match. Unless. I'm trying to think, unless. Maybe get a crit here, take you out. Let me get after it? I don't know. We don't care you. Hmm. Anything we can do? Maybe they miss? They're not gonna miss. It's game. <laughs> it's game set match. Ah, hurts the soul. One and two for today's video. Even though I I feel like we played really, really well. I thought Defiant Zapdos was amazing. They go for the rain dance. Surgeon Strike's gonna destroy me. Yep, there it is. One and two for today's video. I still feel as we played really, really well. One and two for today's video, a losing record. That hurts for me to say, definitely on the casual ladder. Well, we played some good opponents and made some good plays and all around showcased this team really, really well. Love the Zapdos, love the Rillaboom combo, and love this team as a whole. I just feel like it rocked out pretty well. We just lost some very good teams. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, do yourself a favor. Click that big red subscribe button. Join the Genes community. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.